is one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's on. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike. Then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter, those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the option. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Felder. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just misses there with the left. Oh, collar tie. Just out of range with that right hand. Felder gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses with the straight right. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up through the middle with it. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And they separate. Choi gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. And he landed the right hand there. Powerful leg kick lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, that's a good right hand. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful 
Wadi can land right under the elbow. Misses with that punch. Wow, this is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch there by Choi. And just misses with that big right hand. And he lands it, a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. A little single collar tie there. Straight right is there. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain confidence and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes it's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. He's hurt bad. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands through the middle. Checks the leg kick. How about that shin? Right hand on point. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh! Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that yeah, finish Yeah, looks out. a little wobbly on his feet. And really starting to make these shots count. All 
Jafar working inside the closed guard now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. One, two, punch by Shore. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pockets. Felder's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Good punch land. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Another strike to the head lands. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful take down. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Oh, single collar tie here. Big kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. DC, that could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lands with a right hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, huge right hand! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. That one landed clean. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A couple hammer fists there for good measure. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Back to the feet now. Oh, take down there by Felder. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Choi. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I mean, how many can he take? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Working out of the half guard here. Well, 
Closed guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Chor. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, closed guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, big shot lands. Straight right hand now, just misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He blocks the punch. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! What a performance! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.